if you get yourself a house plot and put a fire truck on top of it. Now try to grab a gun and the fire hose at the same time until you get it bugged in like that. Then finally get yourself a house. You'll now have done the water gun glitch. And that was only one of all the myths I'll be trying out today. Look at this TikTok. This guy can literally fly around the whole map with his horse. To do that, he goes to the arcade and puts the horse on top of the motorcycle. Then he waits a bit until it bugs out. Finally, he gets on top of it and just teleports to another housing plot. With that done, he can now fly around with his horse. That seems like an old video. I hope it still works. First, we'll grab our little horse friend. And let's go to the arcade and start this bug out. We need to put it on top of the motorcycle. So let me try to do that. Does that look like it worked? He doesn't look to be on top of it. It just looks like he's looming above it. Maybe if we do it like this? This is a lot more complicated than I thought. I tried a bunch of times to get it to work. But that means that we now know this bug didn't or doesn't work any longer nowadays. A horse bug that I know still works has to do with this hero car. All you need to do is take the car to the back of it and you'll start doing these huge jumps. You don't really fly, but you can go really high. I think our car disappeared. Wait, it's right here on top of the gym. How? Now I'm thinking if we're able to drive with it here. I got into the pilot seat, but it doesn't really go anywhere from here. If we use our horse to do it may work? Let me see if it helps it get out of here. No, we can't do much about it really. Guess it's stuck in here forever now. I want to try to do that same bug in front of other players' homes now. Maybe we can get it stuck into their house. But the direction that it jumps to isn't going towards the house. Maybe if we try to put the horse in the other direction? Whoa! Why are you talking my car away? Stop that! Look out, neighbor! There's a car on your ceiling! It actually worked out, guys. It was all the way up there before they deleted it. This is quite a fun bug indeed. The next one is actually a bit scary. If you try to get into this mansion at midnight in Brookhaven, you'll find all kinds of spooky ghosts. Here we go. Let's see if there's really anything to be afraid of here. Right now, everything seems okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. There's no one inside the bedrooms or even the bathroom. I I know the safe should be around here. Whoa! What's all this? Why is there a skeleton in here? Let's look at the safe then. Is anything weird going on here? Ghost? Where are you? Wait! What's this skeleton doing? It looks like whoever tried to rob it ended up like this. <laughs> it's best that I make my way out of here. Whoa! Is that the ghost that they told me about? It actually exists. Run, Nando! Run until no ghost can get to you. This time of the night is the worst for that kind of spooky stuff. The video on screen shows a way to fly by only using a C4. She literally just walks and she starts floating like there's no tomorrow. I think it's another oldie. So let's see if it works. All right, the first thing we need to do is the hurt animation, just like that. Then we go into our inventory to grab the C4 right above us. For some reason, we can't place it above us every time it just goes beside me. Even if I place it right it goes below me, which shouldn't be what happens. To fix that issue, I had a brilliant idea. I got my second account here, the little cow. She's gonna be the one that'll place the C4 above me. Let me just get ready for it. Now you can do the thing, little cow. All right, let's see. Whoa, it worked. I can't believe it. We almost flew, little cow. Now you know what to do. Place it right in the middle. This is actually awesome. I really thought it wouldn't work. Do it again then. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Let's try it out again. Look Look at us go! So every time I click the W key, we start floating up into the air. But after a few, the C4 just disappears and it stops. Still, it worked out as a charm. It's nice to see that even an old bug can still work sometimes. The next secret we'll be testing out is with these basketballs. There's a nice little feature where the balls actually float in the water. Let me just throw it over there. Wait, why isn't it floating? It's actually just falling into it now. It's not a fully metal ball or anything. This thing should just float. Guess Brookhaven isn't that realistic in the end. Let's see if the football can work for this though. I'll just kick into it. And indeed it just sinks down like it's a rock. What if we do it inside the fountain? They still sink? Are you serious? What about the lake? Does it happen here too? Please tell me this works. It really just sinks into any water. Look at it there. For our next secret, we'll need the yellow house. You probably already know about the secret passage in the library. It just takes you down into this very weird looking secret meeting room. The secret here will need you to hold the notebook and sit on each of these chairs. After that's done, you'll see a button glowing on top of this pillar. Just click on that. Now on this corner, you can go down into another secret room. It's even more mysterious with a lonely notebook on a table. There's a message written on it, but you can also click the back and hear this weird sound. And doing that will let us find a room with a lot less gravity. For that, we go to the gas station. Right beside the food mark, there's a secret passage to an agency bunker.
here. Now turn the lights off and continue into it. Click on this blue screen and it'll ask for a password. That one will be Marcus Brookhaven. The password will be approved and you'll finally find the strange room I told you about. You can even sit on one of these chairs and just stay upside down. We literally have a room where gravity is an option. Everyone already knows about the ocean that was recently added into the game. There's even boats we can use. In this case, I just got a shark. With it, you can swim all around here, as well as get yourself a home in any of these islands. If we go to the end of it, you'll find there's an invisible barrier. You can try to jump it all you want, but you won't be able to go through it. There's a myth saying that if we go full speed into the wall, we'll be able to access a secret room in Brookhaven. For that, we grab the jet ski. All we need to do is get it as fast as we can be, with turbo and everything. Our jet ski is a speed fiend now. Are we actually gonna do this? Three, two, one, let's go! Well, that didn't work out as expected. We can still try it with something bigger. Maybe the yacht at Lake Madison will do something to it, even more at max speed, since it's a lot bigger and heavier than the jet ski. Will it be able to destroy the barrier? No, nope, that didn't work out. This is gonna be our final test. The shark is a good specimen. Its shark teeth may be able to break it. So let's make this guy as fast as possible. Just look at it go. It's so fast. I hope this one works. This is actually our last try on this. Dude, it flew up so high. But sadly, that one doesn't work at all. Since those ones didn't work, we'll do something different. We're gonna get a bit serious. Inside our military base, we have these buttons over here. That opens this hatch up and lets us get a whole jet. It's a lot cooler and faster than the police's helicopter. Helicopter. Maybe with it we'll finally be able to cross the barrier at the end of the ocean. Already, let's get right in front of it. Here we go. Let's see. Whoa, it bugged a lot, but we actually got through it. Now what would happen if we tried jumping on top of it? Sadly, most didn't work, but we were still able to get on top of the barrier, which is cool. You can even see that it stretches until the end if I use click to move to the other side of it. Now we'll need this exact house here. It has something unique that no other really has, which is this. We can actually click on the window to open them up. And with it, you can just jump out of it whenever you want. It works with all of them. Any of these are fully openable. That isn't the only house, though. This one also has the same thing. Like the other, you just click, and it'll open up to you just like that. With that, we can defenestrate ourselves easily. Those are the only two houses you can do that in. No other has the feature. In this video, he wants to show us how to have a water gun in Brookhaven. I've actually never seen anything like this. First, we get a housing plot for us. Then we choose the gun we want to use for it. That's the one he chose. After that, he grabs a fire truck. Now he puts it right on top of the housing plot. Then he bugs the fire hose so he can hold it with the gun. And finally, he gets himself a home and the truck disappears. With that done, he can now use a water gun in Brookhaven. He both shoots bullets and water at the same time. I've never seen anything like this. I really hope it works out. All right, let's start by getting ourselves a plot. Then we can just choose a gun from our inventory. I think I'll grab one of these and then click on these gear icons. Here we'll have a larger array of guns we can get. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Gun in hand, everything looks good. We can now get our little fire truck and place it right above the plot. There we go. All we need to do is try to bug the hose and the gun together. This may take a while. I'll just do it until it finally works out. It worked! Look at that! This is how it should look for the bug to work. They'll both be on top of each other. All we need to do now is spawn a house into the plot. Any of them. I'll grab that one and let's see. Dude! The truck actually disappeared like the video. I still have them both on my hand. Every time I shoot will now spew tons of water as well. I can't believe this actually worked. This is crazy. Go ahead and comment down below if you've ever seen this before or if it's your first time. So that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for even more. Don't forget to vote for me at iBest. You just need to click the link in the comments below.